Hello YouTube, Assassin8017 here. Um, another video on an email sender. This one isn't a spammer, this was a request video for Drift King UK 26 He wanted to know how to send attachments in an email, so I'm going to cover that here. Um, have your text boxes and stuff. Oh yeah, someone complained last time that I showed them this form, like in the last video. And they complained, oh don't give us the um, form pre-made, show us how you make it. I'm going to show you how you put text boxes in. It's oh so simple. You just double click this just for that person. There you go. Um, so, get all your text boxes in. I've got 10 text boxes here in order. One for your username, your password from the account you're sending the email from, the SMTP server, the port, the person you're sending it to, the subject, the free attachments that you can send. You can send more, I think. I haven't tried it. But that's the free I've got going. The message and the button to send it. And this button will add the attachment. I also included an open file dialog, which you can find in the toolbox right there. That's just for um, ease of use and um, making it easier to find the files and making it sure that you don't select a wrong file path. Um, I would put these boxes as read only, just so people don't type wrong file paths, just to avoid complications. Um, in this open file dialog, you're going to want to make um, multi-select true. And you don't have to add a title, but I add a title. But make sure this multi-select is true. Um, let's take a look at the code. We've got an import for system.net mail, just so we can do all this without ma having to type it all out. Um, then we've got this array with strings in it, which is called file. Free, array, free, free items in the array. Um, and that's going to hold our free file names. Um, when you click the button first time, set the... Uh, set the variable to nothing just to avoid any complications if you click it twice and select something um, show the dialog and then set the variable file with the value of whatever file names you selected and then put the, fi the first file name in textbook 7 which was this one right here and then do the same for the rest but for the rest I had to add an error handler because it didn't like me um, not selecting free exact files but with this error handler, which I'll put in the description, it it um it works. And then this is the same code from my last video, but with a little bit attached. But I'm going to explain it all anyway for people who haven't watched. Um, declare a new SMTP client and a new mail message. The credentials are your username and password, which is text box one and two, which are here and here. Um, the host and the ports, textbox 3 and 4, which is here and here, and the just declare a variable for that mail message and then start giving that mail um, some properties. So we've got the mail from, which is textbox 1, your account. We've got um, the person we're sending it to, which was textbox 5, which was this one. The subject, textbook 6, is going to be that one, which is right there. And then the body is the main message, it's this thing. Um, yeah, that's textbook 10. Now, for attaching the files, you've got this if statement I've made here. If textbook 7 does not equal nothing, then um, declare a new attachment as textbook 7.txt, and then add the attachment to the mail variable, um, the add the attachment. And um, we've got the same thing for textbox 8 and textbox 9. If they don't, if they contain something, um, then um, add them. Uh, enable SSL, which is just a security thing, and then try and send the email and catch if something goes wrong. Um, yeah, that's all it does. You can send more than free if you change this to whatever, like free, four or something, just change it around to the limit you want, then you can add more files, you'd have to add them, add more text boxes or whatever. You don't have to have the text boxes, they're just for show. It just You'd really have to add it here, another um, attachment. But I don't know how many, what's the limit, I don't know that. Also, um, you don't have to have text boxes for the mail data like I've got here. You don't have to have these. You can preset the values, like putting your username and password in here, 
the mail and the subject and everything you can preset it but I I did this just for an example um, if we run this just to check it works um, I'm not going to demonstrate sending it because really can't be bothered but let's just add some attachments well we'll take that one um, you've got to use control and this is going to get weird because I'm holding the mic now uh, cursors I can't do it hold control and click to multi select so we go we're just going to open two and they'll appear in these boxes and these are the files you're sending. I'm not going to send it because I can't really be bothered to pull up my email because it takes ages. But um, yeah, I'd put like my email account, my password. It's all safe. It doesn't go anywhere. Don't think, oh no, I'll put my password in. Oh, what happens? And I've even like added password characters there. Put who you send it to and the message in there. Just for those people that might complain when I upload this, to add a password character, it's right here password char then whatever character you want okay there you have it um i'll see you later